Howdy my peeps and welcome. Um, today I'm going to be um, asking a question and that question is does art have to have meaning? But before I get into the topic I would like to give a shout out to Nia Illustrations, Yalia Golston, and Teddy T for your comments. Thank you so much for your comments. I really like reading y'all's comments and you know it just it's just nice you know. Um, and if you would like to get a shout out in one of my videos, all you gotta do is comment on any video. That could have been you. Also, I'm on Patreon, so if you want to see extra videos or something, um, you can head over there. The link is in the description. But, anyway, on to the topic. Does art have to have meaning? Um, I used to think not. I didn't really approach art in a, like a oh my gosh this has to have some type of deep meaning kind of way I was just like I'm just drawing because I like to do it um, and I wouldn't really think about like putting any like subliminal messages or anything in my work I would just kind of just do anything and see what happens um, and there was just one time where this guy at the library I was like in this um, it was like a teen art fest and it was my first year there and I had drawn a picture of, well it was two pictures, two watercolor paintings of girls in space looking up <laughs> and I actually have uh, a speed painting of one of those on my channel if you want to check it out but anyway um, one of the judges was just like oh my goodness I saw this piece and I just had to ask the artist what does it mean and I was just like um, dude, no, <laughs> because I was just like, it doesn't have any meaning, it doesn't have to have any meaning, I didn't tell him that, like that, I just told him, like, it doesn't mean anything, <laughs> um, and I actually named the pictures X, because in math, X represents the unknown, like, different variables can represent something that you don't know, and I named it that because I didn't know what to call it, because I'm not that type of person that, like, sits around and tries to think of deep titles and deep meanings for stuff, I just, I just draw the pictures, okay, I'm not really thinking about all that stuff all the time. Um, however, earlier this year, I took a, um, art appreciation class, um, for school, and, um, that was one of the things that I've kind of um, changed my view on based off that class. Um, we went over um, art criticism theories um, and there are three of them and they are the formal theory which is basically like um, it's like the more technical side of things it's like what is this artist influenced by like what other artists are this artist influenced by what type of, what is the medium that they used, um, what's the perspective like on this thing, it's like that type of stuff, like it's like the more technical side of things. And then there's the contextual theory which focuses on what's going on around the artist in the world, in the society that they live in. Um, and then there's the expressive theory which focuses on the artist themselves, so like the artist's world views or the artist's religion or how they grew up and that sort of thing and um, going over those theories and learning about all that and also having to um, use those theories to like break down a painting um, the teacher she really liked a basket so we had to um, if I recall correctly um, pick a painting of baskets and like use these theories and just like um, critique not like critique but like to talk about one of his paintings um, and I, if I recall correctly, well, I, I can't really remember the name of the painting that I chose, um, but it has something to do with police brutality and it stood out to me, so I, that was the one that I chose. I'm black, it stood out to me, <laughs> but anyway. Um, yeah, just after going over that and having to like think more critically about um, art, I was just like, you know what? Art does mean something, even if the artist doesn't think that it does. And I'm talking about myself here. Um, going back to that painting that I mentioned earlier that I did for that art fest, um, at the time I was just like, this doesn't have any meaning. Still, I don't really 
know what it means, but I can't just like deny the fact that it can have meaning even if I didn't assign meaning to it. Um, because there are other factors outside of that. Like even if I don't just sit down and like, oh yes, this picture here, it is a testament of my love for um, cookies. Like even if I don't sit down and do that, like it can still mean something because um, the painting can be influenced by other artists that I like. It can be influenced by whatever's going on in the world around me and it can also be influenced by my personal experiences, um, my personality, um, and all those type of things. And I think that's just really interesting. Um, like I said, I just before I just I was like, it does you're thinking too deeply into this, Steve. It doesn't mean anything and it doesn't have to mean anything. Um, but like I said, I've completely changed that viewpoint and yeah, I just think that's interesting. And a way to kind of, like just an example of that is um, 2020. So um, to kind of like give you an idea of how that can be applied to like modern, you know, contemporary times. I'm trying to talk really fancy. Anyway, um, like if you just think about the type of art that we've seen this year, um, it reflects what has been going on in the world. Um, even if the artist himself isn't like sitting down and thinking, I want to make something that has something to do with um, police brutality, or I want to draw something that has something to do with the pandemic or the election or all these other things. Like even if the artist isn't like isn't thinking that consciously when they sit down and draw, like the things that happen around us are going to affect our work, whether we want it to or not. And that gives the work meaning. For example, earlier this year during the toilet paper shortage, there were a lot of <laughs> drawings of that just like had something to do with tissue. Um, and there was just a lot of them. And like that is an example of art meaning something. Like someone looking at that out of context would be like, what is this? Why is this person drawing tissue? What does this have to do with anything? What did it doesn't mean anything or something like that. However, in the context of this year, it makes, it has so much meaning. Like someone could have just drawn a, like a piece of tissue. They could have just drawn a toilet paper roll, but like it has so much meaning because we know about the things that have happened this year in relationship to that. So like it has all this meaning and all this, all this, you know, wonderful things. Well, Anyway, um, another example is um, police brutality. It was put back on the center stage for a short moment this year. A lot of people were talking about it and thinking about it. Um, and that caused a lot of like companies and just people to pay attention to black people for a moment. Um, and during that time, and there's like some lingerings of it, um, a lot of people were drawing black people. Um, even if it wasn't like specifically linked to um, George Floyd or Breonna Taylor or the other individuals who have passed this year or killed this year, I should say. Um, but like, like even if the drawing itself wasn't directly like um, related to those events, like people were still drawing black people, and that is still influenced by the police brutality that we witnessed this year. Um, and even if the artist didn't sit down and think, I'm going to draw something to bring attention to police brutality and to make people care about black people. Like, even if the artist didn't do that, like, even if the artist just sat down and was like, this is trendy, let me do this so I can get more followers on Instagram, like, there's still meaning in that because it's still influenced by the things that happened around the time when they drew it. And the pandemic as well, like, you see a lot of, um, drawings of like nurses or people wearing face masks and things like that and that has meaning um, especially in the context of the year so like like I said even if the artist isn't just like let me like draw something to encourage people to wear masks or whatever but draws a picture of someone wearing a mask it has meaning because of this year um, so that's just like a little example of how that works, how something can have meaning even if you don't assign meaning to it. So yeah, um, 
long story short or whatever um yes i feel like art does have meaning well does have meaning or does have to have meaning even if the artist doesn't assign meaning to something because even if we don't assign some, a meaning to something it still has meaning because of everything that goes into creating something i would like to know what you think about that do you think that art has to have meaning um or does art have meaning at all what do you think what are your thoughts anyway um this is uh, how the painting turned out um this was a struggle um this was my second time drawing it uh, the first time the masking fluid ripped through the paper and I was really upset and I just had to stop and come back to it and draw a different picture the next day. It just be like that sometimes. Um, and I may like um, post what bit of the speed painting of that first one I was able to get on Patreon at some point and that will be available for all tiers. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it. And I also hope that you contribute to the discussion. Um, but anyway, um, if you would like to support me in my art, like I mentioned earlier, I'm on Patreon where you can get things like early access to videos, speed paintings, um, polls, um, a monthly wallpaper, and a monthly speed painting to go with that, and just other things, you know, behind the scenes stuff. And thanks. And also, shout outs at the end of each video. Speaking of which, um, shout out to my patrons, Turtle Bun Buns, MW, and Ariana. Thank you so much for being my patrons. Really appreciate it. Um, but if Patreon's not your thing, you want nothing to do with that. You can also head over to my coffee page, or you can follow me on Instagram, or you can subscribe to my channel if you want to. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please enjoy the rest of your day, my peeps.